Hey folks, this is Aaron from Overclocked Entertainment, and I'm here today to show off a little bit of a project that I've started here. And it's just in its beginner stages, if you can believe it. But what I've been doing lately here is I build up these mountains, but uh, mainly going around right now and detailing this stuff. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by possibly uh, creating a map one at a time. Now, what these maps are for are basically for PvP. Now, as players on this map, you're going to be working as a team towards uh, objectives, such as, uh, say, if you come up here, you're going to be either defending the keep or you're going to be sieging the keep. Now, I understand we've got ourselves a huge hill here and a pretty big wall, so uh, you're going to have your strategic disadvantages and advantages, but I'm hoping to make it fun for each team. So, as you're going through completing objectives such as cutting down trees to build your weaponry, or say if you are down here, I may try to get hold of a mod that's going to have catapults and such. I don't know how that's going to work yet, but I figure there's probably someone out there who may be working on something like that. So. What you're going to do is you're going to siege this keep or defend it and after that objective is complete and there's going to be a few many objectives along the way it'll move on to the next stage. Now how it's going to move on to the next stage eh, I don't know. I may set up some big redstone contraction that's going to allow this pass to be opened up. Now after you complete the objectives of sieging or defending the keep you're going to come over here and the next stage of the battle will begin. Now these are going to be separate battles all on their own and players can choose to participate in the next stage or not but this is going to be uh, sort of an open server but the way that I'm doing it is uh, whenever each battle starts the map will be closed. So once you go into here you're going to be fighting for this pass. Now this pass is pretty important because you have two ways to go about reaching the next stage. You can either climb up here, uh, climb through the cliffs of this mountainside here uh, to get to your next objective, or you can defend or attack this big area right here. Now these are both going to be two different entrances, but they're going to have two different objectives to them and two different outcomes. So you come up here and you climb all the way up here and this is going to be the next stage of the battle though uh, this is more of a preparation point I guess you could say. So pretty much I'm going to reset everyone's inventory for whenever they start a battle over here because your next goal is going to be to either come around here and get some trees and such because what you're going to need is uh, plenty of lumber. And the reason why you're going to need lumber is for, well, siege equipment is going to be hard to get down in here. Because what you're going to need are weapons of war, folks. Weapons of war. Now, from here, you're going to either be cutting down trees, and you can separate out your teams however you want. I'm hoping to allow uh, quite a, a lot of people in here. Or you're going to be traveling down into the mines. Now, this next stage is going to be called the Volcanic Mines. Because what you're going to do is, once you get down here, there's going to be different terraces, okay? Now, through these terraces, you're going to have things like iron mines, gold mines, uh, diamond mines, and just different resources that you're going to need. Now, these resources are all going to be culminated together because here in the center of the map, or possibly off to the side, or maybe through this portal here, because I'm cheap like that, you're going to have a huge forge. Now this forge is going to have everything you need. Crafting tables, you're going to have uh, <clears throat> yeah, the forge. Yeah, whatever it's going to be called. I forgot what the item's called. And then you go in here and you build your items and you build your armor and from there you pretty much it's going to be a resource grab I guess you could say. Because once you grab all your resources, you go in, go in here through this portal, or maybe I'll have it here in the center. I think the portal's more of an interesting thing because it's like a capture objective. And then the teams will be fighting out to make sure that they get their weapons and armor that they need. 
So, as I said, objective-based. Now, from there, we are going to move to the next stage of the battle, which I have not created yet, but I guess this leaves a good stopping point. Alright, now, if any of y'all are interested in helping me out with this project, I don't know if I'm going to cr quite create this server yet, still thinking about that, or if you're just interested in watching more videos, because I'm going to be posting a series where I show my progress on these maps, then please uh, like this video and subscribe below, and I'll definitely be posting more content uh, relating to this. I'm hoping that each battle will become more and more challenging to complete each goal, so it gives players a focus on not only each other, but also working as a team. So, yeah, I think that's all. I mean, my mouth is dry, I've talked enough about this, so we're just going to go from there, folks. So, see you next video.